Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to talk about the rate limiting in the C Sharp web application, and that's the new feature that's introduced in ASP.NET 7.0. Come, let's dive in. So, what is rate limiting? Rate limiting is basically you limit the number of requests to be executed in your server side. Generally speaking, if you have seen this rate limiting concept is there for a long time, but it's all there in the API management side, be it Azure API management or IBM API management, AWS, they all have this. The API management used to control who can call how many times of which endpoint. However, now this is applicable and it's even available in ASP.NET Core web application itself, which you can implement if this API, like the, the hosted API is not under the API management, right? So if our API is sitting as an just in web API and it's not controlled through the API management, now with these features, you can do it. So the first thing that we are going to see is if you look at this application, I have a very simple one. It's a default controller that we have. All what we are going to say is, if this is the endpoint, how we are going to use this endpoint and limit the incoming request. Okay, so now all you have to go is go to the program.cs. It's very simple. And uh, all what you have to do is you need to enable the rate limit. All what you have to do is you need to enable the rate limiting. Now, what I have done is I have two variables defined one is fixed and concurrency. Okay. Um, I'm just naming that as a policy. You can name however you want. This is for understanding purpose. Okay. The very first thing that I'm doing is under the builder dot service, add rate limiter. This is by default. It will come as an extension method under the service. If your application is based on dot net seven. Now this is coming from an namespace called Microsoft ASP.NET Core dot rate limiting namespace. All right. So once you have this, all what you have to go to do is so once you have this, all what you have to do is under this, we pass an option and we say add fixed window limiter. Okay. And then we pass a policy and then we have an option to it. So under the options, if you see, I have two options have enabled permit limit as four and window as 20 seconds. So what does that mean? So we are enabling a rate limiter and we are naming it as a fixed, uh, I mean, the policy name is fixed. Okay. And then we're saying within 20 seconds of an endpoint has been called, only four requests is allowed. So if you have a weather service endpoint within 20 seconds, only four requests can be permitted. Fifth request will be rejected automatically. That I'm going to show you right away. And then all what you have to do is after you do that, you come here and enable the pipeline. So that's the service configuration. And then if you use app dot use rate limiter, we are enabling the middleware. So this is the middleware in the pipeline. So it will come always after the build dot build. Now, after that, you also maps this uh, required rate limiting extension method to the controllers and then pass the policy name. If you remember, this policy name is fixed and this is what we named for this rate limiter. We have defined a rate limiter. Now I'm going to run this and show you how this works. It's, it's pretty simple. All right. So we have this now as per that we have four requests allowed. So one, two, three, four, fifth one is gone. It says 503. You, you, you don't serve until next 20 seconds. It's not going to work. Okay, so if I keep doing this, it's not going to work. And by the time we speak about 20 seconds, it's going to work. I give it some time. I'm going to try again. Boom, I got an answer. So two, three, four, five, again gone. All right, so that's how it works. Now, what else we can do? There's another option called queue processing order. So the first one that we saw was time box rate limiter. The second one is the queue for the request. So what this will do is if I just restart it, this is going to be the same thing Four requests allowed within 20 seconds. But we are also saying process the oldest one first and the queue limit is two. So what will happen if I just run this four times, one, two, three, four, fifth time I be used to get 503. Now the fifth request will be set in the queue. Okay. And that's why it's loading after 20 seconds. This fifth request, which is sitting in the queue will automatically be processed. But 
remember we have only two items in the queue so if the third if let's say three requests comes and sets the third request will get five or three so for example i'm gonna just simulate this okay so here we just invoke one two three four for two minutes in queue we will initiate the same thing six minutes in queue but here when you do we should get response okay that's because we are not fast enough see everything is sitting in queue all right so eventually once the request has been served everything will be automatically given with the response so that's called the time box rate limiter along with the queue request so we're queuing the request we know how it works now let's say let's stop this i'm going to and there's something called concurrency so concurrency basically let's understand what is concurrency so for concurrency what we have done we just uh, it's exactly same the only difference is we have a different policy name and a different option so here also permit limit is four queue processing order should be the oldest one the same thing queue limit is two so concurrency means when a same endpoint is hit at the same time by multiple requests. It could be the same person or it could be different different applications hitting the same request. When such thing happens, we are saying only two is allowed, but it's very difficult to simulate this uh, with one window. But that is what uh, this concurrency is. Okay, so let's uh, close this. And then there's something called a global rate limiter and before that uh, if you enable the concurrency you have to come and say concurrency policy is also enabled like this all right so that you have to do only then it will work but let's go back to the global policy so now you know we cannot apply this kind of thing for each and every endpoint right so instead what we have an option is we have something called a uh, rate limiter where in the under the option you have something called global limiter so under global limiter you can say partition rate limiter dot create you pass the context and then here you have something called get fixed window rate limiter so this is what we were doing it right the same thing but here the trick is we are saying either based on the name or based on the host host means application where it is hosted okay so that's the host based on where it is coming limited based for four so for example uh, two different client sitting in different hosts like you know something something.com or other.com those two is trying to access this endpoint right so for each of them four four request is permitted for 20 seconds that's what the host means if a user is trying to do from an application he is considered as a new person okay so for him also it's four so it's not like all together four based on who is accessing we are telling it is four all right the rest and all is same so this is now applicable completely for global and here the rejection request code we can change it from 503 to 429 429 means too many requests so let's let's do this so let's quickly run this it's running as a global one so i will expand this and go try one two three four five you see this now i'm getting 429 too many requests so the global one is working okay great the last part the very important part and good part is you can actually chain multiple requests okay so the good part is you can actually chain multiple rate limiter and you can also assign that multiple chain rate limiter under the global limiter so whatever we saw in the global limiter is same the only difference here is instead of just one we are saying create chained and then we pass the context and we add two different rate limiter so if you closely look at this the first rate limiter is the fixed window limiter where we are saying limit is five and within a one minute okay and then we also have a second one which says limit up to thousand for given one hour so for every one minute maximum is five for a given hour the maximum is 1000 so these two combinedly will get applied and it will automatically be taken care so this is what the rate limiting means and i hope you enjoy this video you like this and you start using such things in the 
approaches that you're using whenever it is needed but we will use this in our uh, restaurant table booking app web api and uh, you can see that happening shortly and uh, i'll see you in the next video if you like this video subscribe to my channel and hit on that like button and if you have any questions provide your comments and i'll be happy to help you and i will see you in the next video thanks for watching if you found this video helpful please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more tech tutorials and don't forget to hit the bell icon to get notified when we post new videos if you have any questions or suggestions leave them in the comments below happy coding